Hello, hello to all the amazing people the Nimer here with some more banners of ruin. This is my second run after last time. We kind of did an experiment and we fought an elite battle and it's just not doable with the two starting characters. So yeah, we got our heads sliced off, but here we are again. And this time we're gonna sneak by them. Cat right here and Drakam. Huh? They're gonna be smarter this time. I didn't try the the heavy patrol yet. It's probably not as bad as the lead fight here, but like it does say heavy patrol, so we're gonna try avoiding it if we can. And then we got the arena here. Uh, anyway, uh, we leveled up. We picked the uh, extra stamina on both of these. We got different talents this time than uh, we had in our first try. So this time we got the rising storm. And uh, on the other one, we got, okay, we got the same one here. So yeah, interesting things, interesting things. I don't know how I feel about the longsword attacks all targets on rank, but for now I'm gonna keep the thing. Uh, right, let's go and continue here. An enormous bear keeps watch next to a bloody sparing pit, surrounded by a chanting crowd, all fixated on two swordsmen dueling in the center. Oh, bet on combat? As you approach the bear, two more flank you on either side, guarded during your exit. No funny business, he growls. Bet your stake, win, you get your opponent share. Go for two in a row and we'll double the wager. One more thing, he growls as he leans towards you. Losers don't get to walk away. Not in this life. Anyway. Uh, one fight, bet 150 florins on winning one fight. Win 300 florins. Bet 300 florins on winning two fights in a row. Win 750 florins. Uh, uh, are we just like rolling the dice here or what? Are we gonna be fighting? I think we're gonna be fighting, yeah. Oh, it's gonna initiate a combat encounter. Yeah, yeah, we can do it, right? I mean, um, 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 what's this? Oh, they already have fury. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, well, the first draw is not super good, although they all attack for 10, so that's 30 damage. Yeah, I mean, we can mitigate some of that, but... But it's not really an amazing situation. I almost feel like I want to do this. Even though that means we get damaged a little bit, it's probably a good idea, because... Otherwise, we're gonna start lagging behind, right? Now I see the advantage of actually having the, the Ratty Bow in front, but okay. there strike next time this character attacks or for every attack in multi-attack the damage is increased by the stacks of charge charge is then removed Remove one fury from the target. I mean, I guess we could remove one fury from the target. We can. No, we want to, like, we don't want to do that just yet. Although it is tempting. Okay. Yeah, I'm not happy now that Mouse is behind. Like, not the way things turned out. Okay. That was a mistake. Oof. No defenses. Okay, we can probably like remove some of them here. Okay, let's see what's like the most reasonable way to do it. I 
Okay, I can go with the mouse here. I can do like a charge into rush. Deal three damage to something. There we go. And we also pacify it, right? So it deals only six damage now. And then... Now we got F9 extra, so we can do 14 damage. So I can get this one down to like, what, eight? And then this one kills it. But this and this also kills, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, right? Well, I can do these two. there okay now I can kill it with these two I guess there we go so now this one's dead this one deals six damage this one deals seven so that's 13 we survive I guess you can kill this one first we need more expensive cards, dude. And I hope I get the cards to heal. Oof. Yeah, I didn't get the card to heal, but uh, I got some nice defenses at least. That's good. Um... Oh, only mouse can do that. That's fine. We can do this thing, we can do that thing, there we go, so now we are nice and protected. Oh, we, do kick. we got the kick actually. We can separate them into two rows so they don't attack. Okay, so we are basically done here. So now we want to heal up. Yeah, I, I regretted not having them on the same line. That was bad. Okay. Oh, we are bleeding. And we're bleeding badly. Well, we play this thing. There we go. Now we can remove... bleed and stuff but what I want is I want to draw that again right so this one's attacking right now bludgeon deal six damage if opponent has 18 on more defense applies four bleed so I would like to draw that card once more but like I feel like Takes a while to like draw it. Mm. Oh, delay damage. If final damage dealt is 13 or more, gain to stamina and gain for restoration. Uh, but how would we do 13 damage? No, that can only be done with the mouse. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, you can get extra damage. Not that I can tell. So we don't want to have that much. Okay. Deal 6 damage. Foda has 18 more. Is it when he strikes or after that? I don't know. Okay. Oh! Apply five to a party member, move swap them to another position. Oh, but, oh, wait. I can move this one here. Okay. Does it stay there now? That would be really good if it does. We're gonna get bludgeoned though.
Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, we didn't get extra bleed, so that's good. Right. Uh, still attacking the bear. Probably because it's, like, closer. Maybe I should have moved, moved the mouse there. That was a mistake then. Okay. If the opponent has shield, applies to vulnerable. Moves forward if possible. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I want to draw, like... I want to draw his thing again. Where is it? The there's draw 15 vitality. So we're gonna stay in this fight. Although they are gaining charge, so yeah. Fury five. I didn't turn this card against equal to stacks of fury and fury increases by two. Okay, they are getting really furious. So this one has three, it's gonna hit for eleven. So there. I'm gonna start preparing. For the actual kill. Oh! Snap. Okay. Now this one goes every turn. Yeah, I forgot I had the extra damage. I guess 14 is alright-ish. Yeah. Gonna lose some HP here from the poison and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's going for the mouse now. At the end of the turn, this character gains... Oh, it's not that bad, actually. It's going up really slowly. Okay. Oh, we cannot... Wait. We cannot use that. So if you wait three turns, this thing will tick up. Yeah, I think it's time, you know, to like finish this fight off. It is what it is. Okay. And now we have to do another one, dude. Deal six damage. Push opponent to back rank. If occupied, switch their positions. Okay, that's good, I think. Uh, deal 5 damage if opponent is in a back rank, deal 4 damage, plus 4 damage per character level. Deal 5 damage if opponent is in a back rank, deal 4 damage, plus 4 damage per character level. Let's go with battering ram. I think that one's like kind of important. Don't get too cocky now. The bear grows at you as you brush yourself down. Second round starts now. A second group steps into the rank. And I bet the second group's gonna be even more strong stronger no yes and we start in the same way like last time well that's kind of bad okay uh let's see what do we have here okay we did get the battering bomb we also have the kick hmm Um, okay, what do you do? Okay, this one has a lot of armor, so... Oh! This one doesn't have fury. So we kill the fury one first. Yeah? So let's see. This is 8 damage and 8, that's 16. Okay. I don't think we can kill... Well... I say that, but... I could do some good damage here with my mouse. Let's see. So we do that, and then we rush this one there. And then we get plus 9 damage. We can do like... That. Yeah. We don't have enough to kill it, but that's okay. Um, so I guess we push this one into the second rank then. Because this one moves forward anyway, right? I could push two people into the second rank. Yeah, I could push these two. Oh, this one also deals 6 damage. Now, that's nice. 
Wait. There, we can kill it. There we go, and then the mouse can do that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I really need to change the ranks up though. That's that was nasty. That was nasty. Okay. Deal five damage to opponent's rank. Prioritizes front rank. Okay, this one now strikes for eight. Okay, if the opponent has shields, it applies to vulnerable, right? Okay. That's okay, that's okay. I think at this point I just fortify my bare hand here. And hmm. Do we kill this one first actually? It is tempting. If we kill this one, which gets fury charges and stuff, then Then we can like probably delay the fight since this one doesn't have fury and heal to full. But this one has so much HP. This one has 30. This one has 64. <sighs> Still though, yeah, this one has fury, so I want to get rid of it first, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, this one also, this one moves frontwards now. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, right, we could kill it, I guess. There we go. Take cover, bear. Look out. He's coming for you. Okay. Hmm. This will not break it. But I guess that was my plan all along. There we go. Let's get all nice and poisoned up. Yeah. Okay, Rising Storm. Lose all stamina, gain twice that amount. Ooh. Final damage is dealt is 13 or more. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So we can do the rising storm thing. Um, yeah. Uh, is bear fine? This one was the <laughs> defense, okay. Applies a stack vulnerable. Hits for 8, 11. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna do the rising storm. And I'm gonna do a invergating blow and we're gonna get restoration. Heal up these two damages. That's pretty nice. I guess this is cool. There. Okay, okay, okay. Now this one dies. So is it worth it to try to draw it? Or is it better to just like... Yeah, it seems like really, really like greedy to try to draw it once more. I mean, we are only missing 5 HP, right? Yeah, I shouldn't be that greedy. We just like remove these. There we go, gain some HP. Yeah, we need to kill this thing now. It shouldn't be like a problem, right? Yeah. Okay, so bear armor up, dude. Um, okay, and time for a strike. Bye bye. I'd probably die from poison, but okay. On my actually no, ble yeah, it would die from poison. Never mind. But yeah, they're pretty much done here. And now we can actually wait to heal up the full. That's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh right. Uh oh, there it is. Can we kill it though? 
Let's see, this is like 10 damage. This is like 8, 14. No, we can't kill it. But still, this is worth it because we're gonna get one damage maybe next turn. Does it skip the turn maybe? Yeah, because this line is not active. Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, good. Cool. All right. Cha ching, 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 ching. Gave me all the monies, dude. We actually healed in this fight. Deal eight damage. Ooh, I like this card. Gain two extra card draw. Transform all ruined cards in your draw and discard piles into random skills. Banish. No mercy. Deal six damage to the opponent with the lowest vitality. Okay, that card sucks. Let's grab the calculating strike. Let's go. Impressive. The Bersas with a genuine tone for the first time. Don't see people walk out of that arrangement too often. He leans over to you with a pouch of gold in hand. Fair is fair. Here's your winnings. Take your gold and leave. Yes, while well, we're still on top here. Good, good, good. Very happy about that one. The League. High recruits. A black wolf stands in front of a long line of mercenaries. Clad in a dark armor, his dusky orange eyes occasionally study one of the several scrolls hanging from his belt. Oh, I definitely want to hire some recruits. Yep, let's go and hire some recruits. Sounds like a really good plan to me. Seeing you approach, the wolf gracefully rolls the scroll he was studying and secures it at, at the hip of his uh, at his hip in one smooth deft motion. Greetings, he remarks in a charming tone. <laughs> that didn't sound very charming, but hey, I work for the league, um, outfitting those in need of martial expertise with the finest of suitors. With yet another scroll in hand, he balletically gestures to the long line beh behind him. So I might interest you in such a soul. I can also pair your exact needs with precisely the right man. He flashes a gal gu guileful smile. Uh, for a premium, of course. Tailored service. Pick a weapon and two talents, each from a choice of three. Hire a character with these cards. Express service. Hire a recruit from a choice of two. No, I'm gonna pick a weapon and two talents, each from a choice of three, and hire a character with these cards. That sounds like a really, really good choice. It's really expensive, but we have, have a whole bunch of cash, so let's just go for the best of the best here, shall we? Right, Battle Axe. 9 damage. If opponent intends to attack this card, he'll deal 1 times 4 to adjacent opponents on rank. Gain 4. Ooh, that's an interesting card. Great Hammer, 13 damage, apply to Vulnerable and 2 Bleed. If target is already Vulnerable, apply to Overwhelm. For every stack of Overwhelm, this character receives 25% more from attacks. Remove at the start of this character turn. Okay, and Hatchet. If this breaks the target's armor, gain 2. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like I want to go for the Battle Axe here. 9 damage, if opponent intends to attack this target till D1 times 4 to the opponent on rank and gain 4, like 4 fury is really nice. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go for something different, right? This is good though, apply to vulnerable. Let's go with the Warhammer. And then the talent, Sulfuric Bomb. If active character, if active character in front rank, target rank gains five poison. If active character in back rank, target rank gains 10 poison next turn and then banish. Acid burn, do 12 damage. If this breaks the target's shield, apply 10 poison. Okay. Slippery. Rotate with target ally. Spawn two concealed blades. Oh. I mean, these are some nice cards. Like, 
I like the idea of g giving whole rank some poison, especially with how nice and defensive my deck is. Rotation is also pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, but I think I like this one the most. It seems very powerful. We put a character in the back rank and then we give 10 poison. That's like 10 damage per turn to all those enemies. That's really nasty. <laughs> and then we get another one. Scornful Bite. Ruin a card. Apply 8. What's that? Crippled. Whenever this character moves, they take damage equal to stack of Crippled. Takes down by 1 at the end of this character's turn. Spawn 1 Concealed Bay. Um, I guess you go for another Sulfuric Bomb here. Oh, it's a Kodmina. The Costling Alchemist. Oh, she's, she's like... She's a feisty, feisty weasel. Superior medium armor, 48 out of 48 vitality, and start each combat with 24. Stoic, whenever this character plays a card costing will or uses their ability, they gain 10 vitality. Like, what in the world is this thing? So I want to have it in the back rank because of Sulfuric Bomb, but I also don't want to have it in the back rank because, oh my gosh, this thing has like a million like health so we need some way well we do have a card which can pull it in front if we need it that's interesting well we're definitely hiring it that's amazing dude we're like we got ourselves a new leader here it's a weasel a weasley weasel Okay. Uh, right, so let's change the combat positions here. I regretted that whole thing. Now, we could keep her in front. Let's see the armors. Medium armor. I mean, I mean bear can heal, so it's still probably a good idea to have medium armor on the bear. Probably a good idea to have light armor in the bear then. If you're gonna keep everyone in the front row. There we go. Here's the thing though. Here's one thing. Like I'm like I I'm enjoying this game a lot. That's what I'm gonna say first, right? However, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that this is super weird. So we got the Warhammer, we got the Longsword, and we got the Axe and the Shield. And only the characters actually wielding these can use them. And it's the same, it's the same for talents. So in theory, it could happen that since you draw only four or five cards, everything you draw is just for one character, and the other characters are useless then. So Having the same deck for all three characters seems like a really, really bad idea. <laughs> right? Like, why would you design it like that? I'm actually gonna stash this sword. Wait. Why can't I put it on this in the stash? You can store items in your stash for later use. They won't drop upon leaving. Stash weapons are added to your deck. Wait, what? You can store items in your stash for later use. They won't be dropped to implement. Stash weapons are added to your deck. Like, why can't I stash it? Mm, that's weird. Um, so it seems like this feature is like not working. <laughs> oh, I see. You can't. 
you need to like everyone needs to have a weapon. They cannot run their own weaponless and armorless. I see. I see. Well, <laughs> that's kind of bad. Well, we do have a lot of cards, so the the chances that the worst scenario happens are kind of not that big anyway, but okay. Alright, so we got a better party now, so you can definitely grow here, it seems like. Weapon Merchant. A broad, dark bear stands behind a villain-looking mouse. Mm, execute. Large crowd. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess weapons are much more powerful than anything else you can have, right? Eh, well, this one's really good. I'm not happy about this one, but maybe we can replace it. Buy weapons. Oh, we'll be able to, like, hire another character once we end the... finish this one here. <sighs> Um, okay, let's see what you have. The mouse addresses you. Never listen to those who say the tools of your trade are important. A good tool is necessary to be an efficient tradesman, of which you are a certain sort. Name your tools of choice. I'm sure we can find a good fit. View four different melee weapons. View four different ranged weapons. Ooh. There are also ranged weapons. Your ch good choice, step this way, the mouse continues. There are 200 florins each, no funny business, understand? After you finish viewing these weapons, you will be charged 200 florins for each new weapon you have equipped on a character or added to your stash. One-handed swords and daggers. One-handed axes and hammers. Two-handed weapons and f pole arms. Um, right, spear, 12 damage, if target is, okay, crippled, great axe, 14 damage, if this breaks the target's shield, deal damage equal to the lost to all adjacent, oof, warhammer, and then under pole arm. 8 damage, all targets on rank, or 12 damage. This one's also cheaper. I mean, very often I cannot even play this because it's expensive. We will level up soon, though. If this breaks the target's shield, deal damage equal to the shield lost to all adjacent. Yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit weird. I mean, we could grab another Warhammer, I guess. Apply to vulnerable. So that's to be two, uh, 200 florins. Yeah, you hand over your florins. Pleasure doing business, the mouse says in an ingratiating tone, grinning from ear to ear. And that's it, we cannot check the other weapons. We are in a rush, apparently. Knife Merchant. A smug-looking beaver is obsessively polishing his wares as they glint in the light. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that, actually. Um, well, I'm gonna click on it just to reduce the counter. Oh! Strategy. Every time you move, gain 5 damage plus. Every time you move, an opponent deal 5 damage. Banish. Oh! Okay, Warcry, apply equal to weapon damage and move swap to the front rank, okay. Pincer, deal A damage, apply 2 to another ally. Or coordination, if active character is in front rank, deal weapon damage. If in back rank, apply 5 to an ally in front. Ooh, some of these are pretty good, actually. Hmm. But I want to hire another person, so I think I'm gonna skip for now. I'm gonna save money to get as good party member as possible. Even though I do like some of these, I think they're pretty good. But... Yeah.
decoy you find yourself faced with a hard situation if you can set up a distraction you might be able to work around it select a card move it to this lane plus one to this counter wait what select a card move it to this lane decoy I'll just go to crossroads and see what happens. Oh yeah, okay, it puts everything on eight. Oh, so it's like we came to the half of the oh, place. Okay, I see. Okay, but this is like what? Equipment service? This is... Yeah, I want to hire some more people. So hopefully we earn some more cash until we get there. I'm gonna do one more combat here. Haha, <laughs> this is the best you can do game. Yeah. We only draw five cards still, even though we have three people. Yeah, that part feels a little bit weird, but okay. What is this? I mean, we get this ability, though. Spawn tricks, conceal blade through hand. Concealed blade. Deal two damage. Apply three bleed. Banish. Okay. So who are these attacking? Okay, this one's going there. This one's going there. This one's going there. Okay. I will need some defenses on my bare hand here well i can do the solid footing okay i can pretty much play everything here problem is though only you can play that right yeah i mean we're gonna throw this thing there you go poison everyone up it's not ideal we're in the front rank i know but it's good enough Okay, bear, armor up. Who goes down first then, eh? There. We get the momentum even though there is no cards to discard. That's pretty nice. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, what? The mouse got hit twice? I didn't even notice that. I mean, we have the way to increase our damage with the Rising Storm and the card, which, yeah. But still, that was not that great. What is this? Whenever this character plays a card costing will or uses their ability, they gain 10 vitality. So this one heals. Dude. You can get so much stronger in this game. There we go. <laughs> uh, poisons. Poisons, poisons. Wonderful poisons. Oh, I can't play that and that. Okay, I guess that's the, like, anti-synergy here. I think that's enough. There we go. Uh, right. Oh, that's pretty good. So you're going here, you're going there. How much? Well, I definitely... I definitely need some guards here. Oh no, there we go. Deal 8 damage. Your final damage deal is 13, and it will be... Gain 2 stamina and gain 4 rejuvenation. So yeah, let's... Uh, do that. There we go. That's our rejuvenation. Um, let's keep this one there. There we go. Okay. I mean, they are dying from poison anyway, relatively soon. I just need to re rejuvenate my mousy mousy here. So, that's why we are like... Oh, we got some bleeds there. But, here comes the strong stuff. Here comes the strong stuff. We're only missing 2 HP here. Okay, let's do the strong stuff on the bear. There we go. And then let's uh, remove all the bad things. Okay, preparation. Right. So is somebody causing the bleed? They are not. I mean, this one dies, then this one goes and hits the mouse for what? 
not that much then mouse heals and then we like clean everything up oh no we got four bleed ah ah it's okay it's okay oh what's this oh this is in stash now so anyone can drag it so anyone can play it what Ooh. well that's not good i want to drop this weapon instead now i think but yeah i did read that i just didn't realize right away what it actually does okay i mean i guess we want to kill everything now because otherwise my mouse bleeds a little bit more hp right huh interesting Ruination. Okay, taunt. Select a target. If the position in front of them is vacant, move them into it. Okay, this is good against archers and stuff, right? Toe to toe. Gain toe to toe. Whenever this character attacks an opponent on the same lane, gain six. Gain six uh, shield. Toe to toe. Whenever this character attacks an opponent on the same lane, Oh, this is like, this is like a power. It stays on you. I like power. Move on. Victory. Blackfoot contact. Right. Gonna continue in the next one. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with how things are going. We got way more powerful. The game became easy. I'm glad I experimented. My first experiment that went badly, but the second one was really good. So yeah, uh, hopefully you're enjoying this series and uh, have a wonderful day everyone, do something nice and be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode, the numerous signing out. Bye bye.